Mark of the trip, game of boardwalk. This is obviously the one and the only boardwalk bullet. One of my most anticipated coasters of the entire trip and all of 2024. Let's see how this thing rides. Just rode boardwalk bullet twice, did the front row and the second and back row. I was projecting this to be my number three wooden coaster going in. I knew it wouldn't be Voyage or Outlaw Run, but I thought it had a great shot of being boss. Unfortunately, this wooden coaster didn't do it for me. Still a good ride, but I think I prefer the Legend of Holiday World over this one. This thing does not feel at all like a gravity group, in my honest opinion. It feels like a CCI, which I love CCIs, but I don't know. This one, it just didn't do it for me. Might have been more impressed with Texas Stingrays to old San Antonio, to be honest with you. Then again, I've only gotten two rides, so maybe if I get a few more, in my opinion, it'll change but as of now it isn't the thing that people made it out to be <laughs> cloudy out here so in case it thunderstorms I'm gonna ride it once or twice more just in case it were to close for rain up to four rides on this thing now and i think i'm only good for one more and then i'm done because this thing is wearing me out faster than i thought it would but then again i don't think it's this ride's fault i think it's the matter of the fact that i'm in texas it's been really hot and between the heat and the rough rides that some coaster have given looking at you superman krypton coaster between all those factors and how aggressive this thing is i've got a headache and i'm good for one more and then i'm probably gonna be done so let's make this last ride a good one Man, 
the thing sped up on that last ride. Out of each of the rides I've gotten on board one full of my last one was by far the best one. And I would say it was a good ride to end out the trip on. So final ride count, five on board one full. That concludes this Texas trip. In terms of highlights from the overall trip, I'll start from the beginning of it to now. First off, riding Mr. Freeze forward was incredible. Getting my 1600th max score on Justice League at Six Flags Over Texas and encountering a glitchy blaster. And of course, I got to mention all the other coaches that surprised me, not limited to, but including New Texas Giant, Batman, and Titan. And then Fiesta Texas, I did get to ride Iron Rattler for the first time, which was amazing. But the ride did not live up to my expectations. Although getting there for Roller Coaster Rodeo was certainly cool. And going backstage with Superman was a lot of fun. SeaWorld San Antonio, getting my 300th coaster on Texas Stingray was really fun. And it was awesome to get back on Steel Eel as well. See how that compares to the other Morgans I bring, which even though I do prefer it over Steel Force, it cannot compete with Mamba and Phantom's Revenge. And then Galveston Pleasure Pier, Iron Shark was solid. And then that takes us to right now, where we just rode Boardwalk Boy. I would say this is a really solid trip. Before I click on this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn on the bell and take a notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit the park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, I'll be getting back to Six Flags and Lewis one time before my next trip, which I'll reveal that in that next vlog. So stay tuned for that, and until then, I'll see you later. Thank you.